we actually have now seen RK one up product down here in Australia. Um, oh, that's right. So, yeah, Jared so, went shopping at Costco. Mm, I did. I went into Costco, and then you know they've got the big Christmas area in Costco um, at the moment. I walked up in there, and lo and behold, there was a Super Pac Man cabinet from RK one up sitting there with about seven others on the pallet, all set up, and it was getting a fair bit of attention um, from people walking past. I mean, this is this is the curb appeal of these cabinets, right? So before Everyone... you before you reveal the price, <clears throat> I'm not going to reveal it yet. Okay, we're going to we're going to talk we... about more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I just I, I want to make sure that we'll go there, but we're going to have to prime our audience in terms of uh, what Australian dollars are to American dollars uh, before yeah, we, we get into we that. Do. But, okay. Can continue with your uh, your magical mystery palette. Mm, the magical mystery pellet. So um, it looked like the pellet had about 10 um, originally on it, but um, it was down to seven plus the one that was actually set up. So the, I talked to the guys at Costco and they said that, look, they, they were not aware that this was coming until two weeks prior. So I, I said, hey, this is cool. This okay, why not? It's cool. So when are the pinballs coming? Of course, I'd ask that, right? <laughs> <laughs> but they said, look, we we don't even know. We were surprised that we were even getting these. Um, so, um, yeah, it was it was interesting to sort of see how, from the, the backside of things, how it was actually sort of told to the, the, the store. Um, very much a surprise. So, obviously, this big container load of them have, has arrived on Australian shores, and it's now been farmed out to a couple of different companies. So, Costco have got a, an allocation. Uh, another company here called Harvey Norman, which is a um, sort of like a department store style. Um, they sell white goods and stuff like that. Um, they got an allocation, but they also got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cabinets. Okay. Um, now, um, I won't say the price of those yet, but they are at a different price yes. that uh, the, the little single cabinets are because they've got four controls on them, which is to be expected. Um, and then there's a couple of online re retailers, like one's called The Gamesman who are selling them um, for what it seems to be a little bit even cheaper than Costco. So there's a little bit of margin in these from what I can see. And it does seem to pay the shop around, even in Australia. Um, so, yeah, I was. Uh, it's funny, you know, I was standing beside it and people were going, oh, look at this cabinet. Gee, I wonder if you can use it in, like, paid mode. And I quickly said, yeah, nah, you can't. <laughs> you're, you're like, you're like... Folks, let me give a little uh, dissertation here. Better yet, why don't you tune in to our podcast? Oh, um... <laughs> I should have just slapped a black eye leg on and said, tune in for more information. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was totally doing the sales pitch on it. Um, and, you know, I was saying, you know, you know they got really quality, good quality. This is arcade hardware they've got here. And, you know, they're actually proper buttons you see in the arcade. And But these are definitely home use only. You can't wire them up for an arcade, no. um, for arcade use. Um, so, you know, that, I think one person was looking at it for like the waiting room of their doctor surgery, which sure. is a perfect use for it. Yeah, I, that's where, use. honestly, that's where I first put hands on any of these arcade one-up units. I was mm. getting an oil change and the automotive place that I went to, their waiting room, he had three arcade one-up cabs set up. And I that's was like, awesome, what man. a great time killer. <laughs> yeah, it's great. You, you, if you wouldn't want to leave. <laughs> <Would you? laughs> And, and the next so, time I yeah. went, the next time I went in there, which was about a year later, he had two more. <laughs> and mm. then I said, "You know, they're coming out with pinball." And he was like, "Oh." Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Jared, was your reaction uh, with seeing these things in Costco the same as my reaction? Because I don't frequent the Walmart, so I never have seen them in the Walmart. But I frequent mm. Costco on a weekly basis, and I'm wandering mm. there on the aisles of Costco and. And right there on the corner of the aisle was uh, an NBA jam. And I just went, mm. ooh. Yep. <laughs> pretty <laughs> lined over. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I went, uh? <laughs> like that. I was wide-eyed. And then, of course, my, the of course my eyes dart straight to the price. I'm like, come on, Costco uh. discounts. And it wasn't really uh, uh. different. I think the only thing was that they were offering it with a stool. I think a stool or, or no, excuse me, excuse me. They weren't offering it with the stool. They were offering it with, it had a topper and lighting on the back. That's the right. Costco right. difference. That's a Costco difference. <laughs> and the super okay. Pac-Man is actually only available at <clears throat> Costco. 
Oh, is that right? So yeah. that's not the case with it. So when we're referring to Super Pac-Man, we're referring to the cabinet that has about six versions of Pac-Man plus Galaga on it, right? Is that <laughs> yeah, what's say that Pac again. Galaga. Interesting. Mm -hmm. See, we all saw mm -hmm. it. Galaga. Galaga. Not like Gallagher. Galaga. 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 And then it's Galaxian. Galaxian. Or do you say well, Galaxian? <laughs> no, Galaxian. We don't. It's Galaxian. Okay. So it's Galaga. Galaga. I don't know. Okay, here's a, here's a so, tangent I've real got quick. the price. Hold on, hold on. Tangent on real quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you pronounce the name of the shoe that has three stripes on it? Well, it used to be Adidas, but then we got Americanized and now Adidas. Hooray! <laughs> but it used to be, everyone used to call them Adidas down here. See, we never did because, you know, there was a little band called Run DMC that had a song called Yeah, My that's Adidas. exactly how we learned how to say it right. <laughs> It's totally how we learned how to say it right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so the first time I ever heard anybody, and this was just like maybe, I don't know, 15 years ago, say Adidas, I was like, what the heck are you talking about? Quit being what a brand prick. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Quit being a prick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm to I am totally that. So. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> pricing. Here in America, okay. the Super Pac-Man table is $399 at Costco. Jared, how much is it in Australia? It is, you won't be able to see this, but it is 799 or well, 749 at the moment. 749 and, and then it's going to be seven. Oh no, six ninety nine ninety nine 99 is the introductory price. That's the introductory price. And it's going to be price after offer is 789 Wait, what, I don't understand what the, what, what do you mean introductory price? So the intro because they're brand new and okay. they've never carried the line before. They have this thing called introductory price at Costco. At Costco, yeah. Okay. So it's six ninety nine ninety nine. So so seven hundred bucks. Okay, so seven hundred versus our uh, four hundred. Um, yeah. What is the convert the the Australian dollar conversion rate currently? It is about seventy three cents to the greenback. Okay, so there is how you see not only. The conversion price, but also the markup for shipping it in to Australia. Yeah. So the problem with Australia is that they have rather stiff duties on imports. So I found this out when I was thinking of importing a whole lot of Pascal boards for the Gottlieb machines. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I, I did the full price up. I got a quote for shipping, and it adds about half again on onto the cost of the um, the total order. So it's a big hit. Um, with the import duty. So that price reflects both the exchange rate and the import duty, and there's not a lot of wiggle room in that price left over. So what was the uh, Mutant Tur Ninja Turtles? Because that's uh, 100 bucks more here. It's uh, 4.99. It was selling for 1200 Oof. Yeah. $1,200 for that. Now, I've seen some, some actual official what they call leisure and allied industries turtle cabs down here which were like a dime a dozen um very recently with a pandora's box you know 2001 game system selling for about that price down here wow on on, on gumtree or like you know craigslist so because that's that the thing is... you better really <clears throat> love ninja turtles because it's only two titles on that cab is it literally two titles yes yeah nah <laughs> no Sign, don't sign me one up for that. <laughs> um, that's the no, only no reason good. why I would buy that cab is to mod it, to put, to strip it, to gut it, and put a computer in, and then I can have yeah. my four four controllers so that you know, you can play yeah. that and Gauntlet properly. <laughs> yeah, but do, and NBA Jam as well. Yes, yeah, you know, unofficially. <laughs> yeah, um, but that's a lot of money. Yes. Um, and this is my fear. Like, you know, when I said a couple of shows ago that I think down here, the machines, like the one up pinball machines are going to be around eight or $900. I'm adjusting that now. I think they're going to be about 1,300 at least based on this. Wow. I, I don't think, I don't think they can do it for anything else. Cause if you look at the extra costs of the turtles cabinets with the four controllers, mm -hmm. um, and the larger cabinet side, like, there's a lot more wood on the pinball cabinet. There's more hardware. Like there's two monitors and a whole lot of other gear in there as well. Like well, I'm just a... thinking just, I mean, price point alone here, they're going for, they're going to be 550. So 
Yeah. That's 50 bucks more than the Turtles cabinet. So yeah, do so the math like, on your end. Do the math. Like it's going to be at least 1,300. I think probably more, you might be able to get them for that through Costco. But yeah. the what the, the $1,200 price was through Harvey Norman. And they're always more expensive than Costco. Okay. So they were selling the Pac-Man through um, Harvey Norman for about 999 I think. Okay. So there's some you got a pretty deep pockets if you want to get into arcade one up down here um so that's that where it's going to some... become it's going to have to become economy of scale they're going to first have to get a base that prove they are have to prove that these things sell and then mm. the retailers might actually purchase more so that the price can be a little bit lower yes that's what they're gonna and that's exactly what the shipment's for it's yeah. a proving shipment yeah um to work out you know whether there's an appetite for this product at this price yeah. down here 